All right, here we go again. Now uh, it's time for uh, the lunch, the lunch episode. And um, I'm going with the, as the, men, as the uh, instructions said, uh, I'm going with the Mexican tuna pasta, which I uh, told you before that uh, this is a product of Thailand. So I'm having a Thai lunch, I guess. Uh, for the drink, we are going for uh, isotonic drink. And it doesn't say which, which flavor this is, but we'll soon find out. Also, I'm having uh, the cocoa powder. And uh, as you can see, this is a chocolate bar. We'll be going with that as well. And also finish it finish it off with the uh, chewing gum. Uh, I'm also using the Orifo flameless heater bag, and uh, it will take around ten to twelve minutes for this to cook. So uh, let's get that thing going, and I'll be. Uh, preparing the drinks uh, and probably go for the chocolate since I'm very hungry right now. So without further ado, here we go. All right, I'm using the wooden uh, plate on on the table in case uh, this is actually the first time I'm using the flameless heater back. So I don't know how, uh, how it gets. So I don't want to harm the table. I don't want to have any burning marks or similar on the surface so let's see uh, i'm supposed to open here then uh, yeah first i open and then i uh, put in the mexican tuna pasta and then i will fill with water 50 milliliters and then yeah that uh, should be easy. Here we go. I would also like to add that uh, the heaters doesn't. Um, it's it's not included in the MRE Combat Edition. They sell them uh, separately. So I, uh, I bought a few ones, just in case. Okay, and here, here's the fill line. So here we go. The magic of television. From somewhere appears a bottle with not Sprite in it. Just pure water. Here we go. Oh man, is that enough? Yeah, should be. All right, give it a shake it all over. Let's see, and there's the tape line here. Man, oh shit. All right. Yeah, man, it's not doing its thing. Come on. Ah, more water. Come on. Ah. It's sorry for this. It first time, like a oh, come on, yeah, it's not. Good. All right. Can you hear the sizzling? It's definitely doing its thing now. Oh, getting very warm as well. Shit, that's hot stuff, man. Oh, oh I, I need something to uh, keep it on position here. Oh, shit, man. That's all oh, right. That will probably keep, uh, give it a even temperature. Oh, 
Wow. All right, let's move that further away and uh, let's uh, try the drinks here. All right. Let's start with the isotonic drink. Oh, it's orange. The color is orange. So, yeah, let me take a guess. Ah, uh, it might be strawberry. Is it peach? Uh, it's definitely yellow. But, um, I th I mm, I think it smells like peach actually, uh, and the uh, the texture is quite. Uh, it's not that thin. It's like like a nectar, <laughs> nectar. Yeah, we'll let it uh, solve it, solve the uh, yeah whatever. And let's prepare the cocoa drink, some boiling water, about a cup. Well, that's uh, quite close, isn't it? And let's go for the Orifo cocoa flour flavored flour. Man, I need to work in on my English. Whoa. Uh, that was a quite a lot of powder, actually. Mmm, the smell is undescribable. It's very dark. And very hot. All right. We'll let that... Uh, Chocolate do its thing and uh, let's open the chocolate bar. Oh, that's a robust chocolate bar, isn't it? Hard as a stone, I, I would guess. Um, yeah, let's have it a try. Oh, shit. Mmm. That was a tough one, but once you get that in your mouth, it's um, actually um, very smooth and it's softened up very, very nicely. So it's not that hard anymore. It's like melting in your mouth. Mm. Oh man, that is good. Mm. That's a good piece of chocolate, man. Mm. Oh, great. I wonder if this is German or... Well, it doesn't say, does it? Well, it says Denmark, but um, yeah, who cares? <clears throat> anyway, uh, it's a very, very nice piece of chocolate. Let's go for the um, isotonic. Oh, mm. also amazing stuff. It's like nectar, actually. I think the taste is peach. Ah, unbelievable. Mm. Just another bite of... Uh, <clears throat> ah, that's crazy. 
I definitely recommend that chocolate bar. Let's try the um, Coca drink. Oh God, man, that, that was amazing as well. Mm. It would be great to put some whipped whipped cream on it, actually. But um, nah, man, it's so it's so it's sweet. It's very sweet. It's very rich, and it makes you smile. All of the three things makes me smile, man. All right, let's wait for another. I think eight to six minutes before the uh, lunch is ready. So uh, see you soon. All right, <clears throat> the meal is now ready. Um, uh, well, here's the stuff. <laughs> As you can see, it has um, pasta, screw pasta, uh, kidney pies, kidney peas, I mean, uh, corn, and loads of oil, red peppers or bell uh, pepper. Uh, um, and of course uh, tuna, which uh, looks like uh, quality tuna. So uh, let's give it a try. Mm, there's um, chili, chili in it. Mm -hmm. There's a <clears throat> loads of oil. I probably should have uh, kept that in the bag um, a few more minutes. It's um, it's not cold, but um, you know what I mean. It's not bad. <clears throat> it's spicy and um, the tuna is um, quality tuna. The pasta isn't uh, al dente. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Very oily indeed. <clears throat> Actually, I, d I don't have anything to complain. It's um, it's actually very good. I probably would add some uh, some more Tabasco <coughs> or or uh, hot sauce um, to give that uh, additional kick, but but it's quite uh, spicy as it is. So the mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would I would give eight out of ten. Definitely, uh, <clears throat> the lunch as whole with with the all the drinks and the chocolate. I would give a ten ten out of ten. Without a blink, hands down, ten out of ten. Uh, great stuff. All right, thank you for watching, and um, also please, um, I would like to. Um, Remind you to check out Steve uh, 1989. He does awesome stuff uh, on his channel, so please check him out as well. All right, I would like to finish this off now. So um, take care. See ya. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.